guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me on my birthday for my birthday dinner. <laughs> um, we are drinking, we are rushing around, we are getting ready, we're doing my hair, we're getting dressed, and I literally have to head out the door in like literally one minute. So if you want to see all of that madness, grab a glass of wine and let's jump right in. I'm so ready and so excited that it's my birthday. Cheers. So I'm definitely drinking right now. I'm not drunk. I'm not at that point yet. But by the end of this video, I probably will be drunk. And my eyelashes will probably be like be all the way over here. You never know. I'm going to start off by prepping my skin. I did all my skincare, so my skin is all ready to go. You know, just like one or two squirts of that, no big deal. I mean, if anyone wants to let me know where I can get one of those hand fans, let your girl know, because I keep procrastinating on getting it, and I'm going to say it every video until someone tells me where to get a hand fan. And then for primer, I'm using the Smash, or, oh my god, I almost said Smash. <laughs> so for primer, I'm using, <laughs> this is my first glass, okay? Promise. <laughs> <laughs> So she takes another sip. For a primer today, I'm going to use the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. If you saw my Get Ready With Me, you already know I love this. It's affordable. It works good. Yeah, that's pretty much all I said about it. <laughs> so I'm going to blend this in my little thingies. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. And this is in the shade Shell. And then I'm going to mix the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal in shade Nude Beige with it. Um, just because this is too matte for me and this one's too oily or too luminous. So I'm going to mix them. Look at that coverage. Mmm, yes girl. I don't really like how this sponge is blending out this foundation. Oh my god, I don't like it already. Okay, I don't really like this combo. I thought I did, but I think the Jouer foundation is just so matte. The Pro Glow didn't even add any luminosity to my skin, so my skin looks so matte right now. Oh my god. All right, moving into concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. Oh my god, I'm sweating. And then to set that, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is my all-time favorite. I cannot stop using this or switch to something else. It just doesn't happen. So I'm going to get these creases out underneath my eyes first before I set them. I know I make the weirdest faces when I do this. And then I'm going to set really lightly underneath because I do not need to get any more matte than I already am. And then I'm going to set my chin... My spiral lines especially. Did I just say snile lines? And then I always go over like my eyelids with just a little bit of powder. All right, moving on to brows. I need to take a quick drink. So for my brows, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. I used to use dark brown, but I found that soft brown matches me just a little bit better. And it's not as harsh. Like, I told you guys, this is a more chilled video. Usually I'm like, up, I'm talking to you guys, but like, I need focus. My makeup needs to look spot on. Okay, brows are done. I really have to focus while doing my brows, so that's why I always like, just stop the camera, because it just takes a lot of time and effort, but they're done. I mean, they're not bad today, right? Then moving on to contour and bronzer, I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit in Light to Medium. I'm going to just go in with this middle shade right here. I always tug at my skin when I go into contour and bronzer. I don't know why. And then for bronzer, I want to see um, if I still like this bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. As you can see, it still looks brand new because that's how much I don't use it. And it was hella expensive. So I'm going to go in with this one today. Just because I'm feeling a little bougie. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Pretty Girl... 
pretty vulgar make them blush in hush blush really pretty coral peachy color just be careful with these they have so much pigment in them oh my goodness I'm going to spray my face with Smashbox Primer Water just because it looks so dry and like too matte for my liking. So this will help with the powderiness. I'm going to use the translucent powder on this sponge and just clean up this contour a little bit just because I feel like it got a little crazy. While we're waiting, I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and set my brows. I always fluff them upwards. I usually do about like two coats of this just to make sure they stay in their place and they don't move. You know what I'm going to do? Ooh, this is a good idea. Simple yet effective. What I like. I'm just going to take that bronzer from before and just apply this in my crease just to give it some dimension. But I'm gonna use the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. It's a really golden, pretty, beaming highlighter. Of course, my Anastasia A23. Just highlight really lightly. <laughs> For mascara, I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just coat my lashes before I go in with false lashes. So I just applied falsies and I used the Faux Mink Wispies from Ardell. They're so like fluffy and flirty and cute. And then I just like dusted off that powder underneath my contour so it looks a lot better we're getting there and then of course my favorite part of makeup are lips today I'm going to use I'm wearing a red dress so I definitely want to do a nude what else is new <laughs> nothing this is the NYX lip liner in the shade nutmeg so I'm gonna line my lips with this and then I'm gonna go in with a lip paint or like a lipstick a liquid lipstick and i think i'm gonna use the shade bestie because that's like my favorite nude ever and it just looks so good with every color oh yeah this is definitely a deeper nude than what i usually do so now i'm gonna go in with bestie oh yeah oh my god this looks so good i'm obsessed I'm literally obsessed. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Primer Water first. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to add some like luminosity and glowiness to my skin. I don't know why I shake this every single time I shake this. It doesn't need to be shook. Alright guys. So I'm going to curl my hair. Um, I'm not going to show you guys just because I have a whole tutorial on how I curl my hair on my YouTube channel. So I'll definitely link that down below or in like a little card up here for you guys. And then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing and pretty much the end result and what I'm going to look like for my V-Day dinner. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, okay? Because you're going to miss the best part. Okay, so this is the finished product. I know, I started off looking real rough, but I'm feeling good. Everything turned out pretty well, even though I was a little nervous about the makeup. So I just curled my hair. Um, I have a tutorial on how to do that on my channel as well. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I do. Um, I just painted my nails, oh my god. So yeah, makeup is done, hair is done. Wearing my Swarovski necklace and earrings. And then I got this dress red and lacy and super cute so cute it's from Windsor um, it's coming off really bright red in the video right here but it's more of a like dark red and then I just matched it with like my black heels simple so yeah this is my b-day dinner outfit all right, oh my God, this is literally like take three of doing this. So I am back, my hair is curled, my dress is on. 
I'm ready to head out the door and eat me a good old steaky steak. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.